Hi everybody, I am doing a 15 minute session for a client. I'm going to be sharing distance, psychic wisdom, and energy healing. The goals are energy upgrade, raising vibration, connecting with earth and stars, higher self guidance. There's a lot of stuff on the list. Yeah, I mean, this is this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to read the goals here in just a moment. I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to support you. Thank you so much for exploring the session, sharing with us here on YouTube. There's so much we're going to learn from you today. And there's so much that I'm excited to share with you to really help you in your life. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Okay, so here's your goals specifically. I want to receive an energy upgrade, a sense of raising my vibration, feeling more grounded with the earth and more connected to the stars, as well as more open to higher guidance. Is there anything I need to be aware of within my energy balance? Messages from my guides. Maybe introduce me to one of my guides. <laughs> I'm open to receiving healing and perspective. Thank you, Abby. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like this. So we'll just get to know one of your guides and then we'll just start working on helping you feel it's almost like cosmically tuned in because tuning in with the earth, feeling grounded with the earth is kind of a cosmic thing, is a universe thing. Feeling connected with the stars, it's like grounded in the stars. <laughs> it's like, can you be grounded in the stars? Yes, you can. That's another like cosmic concept. So it's like really tuning into your cosmic self and working with your guides, messages from guides, energy upgrade, energy um, vibration raising, all that good stuff. Okay. Okay. Anything you need to be aware of with your energy balance. All right. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready to get started? Okay. Let's meet one of your guides. Sort of presenting all this information to the universe, welcoming the presence of a super awesome being that's supporting you on your path. Okay, this being already is um, wanting you to... Okay. I see a picture of you and then I see there's a door that's kind of covering your heart and it's closed. So open that door and know that you can receive messages from your spirit guides. And specifically, this guide says you can receive messages from me. So who is this? I don't know. But that's something you need to do that, okay? Your heart is open, and yes, you can receive messages from this spirit guide. <laughs> Why are you... Okay, this is another message, because your, your guide here, who I, I don't know much more than what the message is right now, it really showcases you and you're always looking down in a way and avoiding direct eye contact with your guides. So don't look down in a way. You, you need to acknowledge that you're capable of receiving messages from your guides. It's like you're avoiding giving yourself permission that yes, you can do this. Yes, you can receive messages from your guides. You're purposefully closing the door and you don't need to do that. Just choose to be open and choose to take ownership that, yes, you can receive messages from your guides. I'm telling you this again, okay? What is it about you and this guide? This guide is still a mystery to me. It's almost like a... I, I experience information, vibration, okay, but I don't experience an image. There's always seems to be a, a wall between you and this guide and your ability to really see this guide clearly. And it has to do with you opening up, okay? Saying those words that we talked about. <laughs> Repeat this message if you need a reminder about those words. <laughs> I can receive messages from my guides. I am receiving them. I hear them. I'm open to this. Don't block yourself from that, okay? <sighs> okay. 
I can't even get on the other side of the wall because I have to experience you. This guide really wants me to experience you and help you to remove this wall. Because you need, you need this. This is something you actually need. This is the energy upgrade. This is the grounded with earth and stars. This is that raise your vibration thing. This is giving yourself permission to work with awesome beings that are around you. It's just you keep, you keep deciding that that isn't, it's like a lot of people, for instance, here I am doing energy work for a living. A lot of people might in this genre, right, might see me and say, oh, wow, I, I would love to be an energy healer. I'd love to do psychic stuff and hear the energy world and see past lives and all this. But nobody actually says I can do that as the step one to getting to the place that I'm in, <laughs> okay? Because you, you have to believe that you can interpret the universe or interpret uh, messages. And it's not like, okay, for instance... You call a friend up on the phone, you can hear their voice clearly. That's this external thing. We have ears that hear this external world. What happens on the inside in this world is you don't necessarily hear it and you don't necessarily see it. You don't necessarily all those sort of senses, but yet you do. It's, it's allowing yourself to acknowledge that you did hear it and you did taste it and smell it and see it. But it was blurry and it wasn't um, like 10 lines of coherent information. It was a split second of information and I don't know what to do with it. That's still an intuitive, psychic, receptive event. And you build upon that with practice and you want to do that so that you can develop that connection with the universe that you're a part of. You're not just a part of the human world. You're part of the universe. I feel like beneath the surface of your goals, that is what you're really seeking is you're a part of the universe. You are a part of the universe. You're a part of the universe. And that's going to be fulfilling for you. You're going to find fulfillment and you're going to find support. It, it's almost like you, you need to know this. You need to know this. You need to know this. How cool is it to have human support, right? Now, add to human support some energy world support. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the more the merrier, right? So let yourself have that, okay? This guide is wanting you to take down this wall. And so I'm going to support this guide, which is supporting you, which is supporting your higher self, which is supporting the divine time of this whole thing in order to help you get to where you're actually wanting to be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Why are you suddenly turning into a cow? You uh, white with black spots and you literally moo for me. <laughs> you're in a big field and there's a fence, and you're accepting of the boundaries of your life, and you're a cow, <laughs> and you moo for me. And you accept the boundaries of your life, and you accept that there is a fence, and you will be a cow, and you will be content with your cow life. There's something trying to convince me of peacefulness. There is something that feels like a conflict, an imprisonment. But I will say there is a wise cow that's wanting to communicate with you as well. <laughs> what if this spirit guide is like an almighty cow spirit? How weird would that be? The almighty cow wants to speak to you. <laughs> it's cool. I feel like, like, it's so shocking, but it's not. And it's so interesting, and I want to know what the almighty cow has to say. You're the almighty cow. Oh, I'm just, all I, all I know is I'm hitting this weird, it's like the Titanic hits the unseen iceberg and everybody dies, okay? 
and I hear and experience instantaneous grief and sadness in my heart and the loss of so many lives. I see souls signing up, signing their name to be on the Titanic and to their inevitable death. The Titanic is just a coffin. The ocean then becomes their graveyard. That scene is intermixed with this cow and the boundaries of the fence that it accepts. There's other images that are appearing here that are quite difficult. I see a, well, I see a human heart that has worms in it. I also see a dog that has gotten worms and needs treatment. But then I see the human heart has little, little tiny worms, little white worms in it. And there's this, like holding of one's breath and almost controlling the beat of one's own heart as the worms eat the heart. Holy smokes, this is uh, quite a notch in here, okay? It's like we're doing the energetic massage for you, getting to know the guide, and wow, we hit a tight spot. <laughs> and it's this. You need to know who this guide is. I say, can you let down this wall, please? Let's learn more about this guide. I want to give you a face. I want to at least give you something of a visual image about who this guide is, but you have to want it. This guide does tell you that when you start working with me, you're going to start to feel more this guide says that. I experience a human being who sort of, it's like, okay, okay, imagine you're somebody who's really uncomfortable with public speaking, but you admire people who are comfortable with public speaking. And maybe you like watching on the TikTok or on the TV or whatever, people who are expressing themselves from the heart, okay? Um, and you're like applauding them for that. But now let's tables turn and you're the one expressing yourself from the heart. And this is the, I hate public speaking and I'm, you know, now at center stage and I'm terrified. So we have the comfort zone, you know, and then we have the uncomfortable zone. So for some reason, the comfort zone is I, I need support, like somebody like me, um, in order to give you the message from your spirit guide, a spirit guide, um, verse, you give yourself the message from the spirit guide. It's comfortable zone, uncomfortable zone. But this guide is saying that it is going to be um, like winning the lottery when you do this, but there is going to be some vulnerability to it and it's going to be emotionally impacting. It's going to be emotionally impacting because you literally the guide is showing me as soon as you say I'm ready the switch is turned on and you won't be able to access that switch again to turn it off that's what this guide is saying so you could be full-blown intuitive when you as soon as you give yourself permission to be and this guide is going to be there to help you literally on a psychic development journey it's literally what this is like for me but it it's emotionally related it's a feelings-based experience but it's, it's really loud. It's felt really, really loudly. It's not you uh, watching me, let's say, but you actually sitting in my seat. <laughs> yeah. I, man, I would, I, I would applaud you for that. <laughs> I applaud anybody who, who chooses to explore this path. I applaud anybody who chooses to explore this path because it's the expanded human experience. It's, we all have the sixth sense. It's just we all interpret it differently. So mine is less ultra creative and I receive a, a total like seeing experience that comes with a lot of details or nothing, but I know that I'm present in it and I have to go through collecting the clues and asking questions in order to relay the overall message. So that's how I do it. Everybody's different, okay? 
this makes you kind of nervous, but I still see you're a cow in the, in the fence. <sighs> I'm wondering if the cow in the fence is directly connected to the heart with the worms or if that's its own thing. Maybe the cow in the fence represents, um, once the fence is down, the cow is exposed to all the possibilities. And that's a psychic development thing. People can be afraid of really opening up because they don't want to have weird visitors and stuff like that. They're kind of afraid to, to open up. So that could be a safe boundary, but it's an unsafe boundary. It's actually a bit imprisoning for how you're wanting to grow. But whenever it comes time to grow, we, we're kind of screaming and clawing our way out of it because we're going to have to be vulnerable and awkward and weird and scared and we're going to cry and we're going to say all the wrong things um, but we're going to get through it because we're going to grow through it you know we're going to grow through it and then we're going to mature and say wow what an awesome person i am i i did it <laughs> i did that it could be related to something else in your life okay the cow in the fence and then the worms eating the heart okay because that there's some kind of pain here that needs to be looked at Okay, so I'm asking this guide, is this all about psychic development or what is this heart uh, thing here? That is part of, you're going to start to feel the things that you are masking yourself from feeling. And there's some things that you're not going to let yourself feel in order to be a safe cow in a fence that does not complete you. It's as, as much as saying um, you have a talent and you're not ever going to acknowledge that you have the talent, but you do. And this, that's what the guide is saying. Okay, so is this just about psychic development intu intuition? Yeah, maybe there could be um, other parallels here in your life. So I'll just let you think about it, okay? But this guide it keeps insisting that you, you need the extra support and you need to start taking ownership that you're able to receive messages from your guides and to just take the walls down already. Just take the walls down. There's a big black energy fence between you and this guide which I'm convinced is probably more than just one guide because the spirit realm is full of beings that love us. Uh, but there's also obviously the door and the door is quite small and that's more of a comfort zone. Okay, I can open this door, but then you have the convenient giant impossible wall. So that's the more vulnerable one that needs to come down. I would really like to see this guide. So I'm just like, I could take us to a safety space, but he's like, no, 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 no safety space. You need to be exposed. He shows me a kid going on a roller coaster for the first time might be terrified. Okay. Give it a few years, gives it a try again and actually enjoys it. So sometimes, um, we have to face something of a vulnerability, but we need to keep pushing forward because that, that, what becomes our, what is once our fear then becomes our joy. Okay. That, that can happen. It's like fear of heights, um, now becomes an amazing, um, I don't know, skydiver. It's like, you know, I'm going to break this fear of heights and I'm going to start skydiving. And then it becomes this like lifelong hobby and you're so proud of yourself for letting that go. But it, it took so much ridiculous courage, okay? So there's something of this message here. Let's just, I'm just going to stick with it. I'm just going to stick with it. I really want to see this all the way through. Like, I really want to see you just let this go. You, you have to do this in your heart. This isn't just like, I'm, I'm saying I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. Why is it going? <laughs> because you have to be honest about it. You can be honest about it in your thoughts all day long, but it's only true when it comes from the heart, okay? That's the difference. This year, well, I said I loved you. <sighs> How come you don't believe me? <laughs> it's like, but do you love me from the heart? <laughs> so, so there's a difference here between this and then the heart, okay? So you got to say it, mean it from the heart, okay? Suddenly when you, you say it and you, meet, you actually do say it and mean it from the heart, there is this unfathomably loud shattering sound and I see the death of many animals, okay? 
I see, and it's in a weird way, like, um, uh, literally twisting the head and neck, like breaking the neck. And I, and it's on horses too, cows. I, I don't know how you break a cow's neck, but I see, a. Uh, cow's necks, horses' necks, chicken necks, uh, rabbit necks, uh, broken, broken, like, like a war on animals, and there's just animals dead with broken necks everywhere, and you start to scream, and you scream so freaking loud at, that you shatter the world with your pain, okay, and you can't save them, you can't, Innoc you can't save innocence, is what it is. And you can't uh, stand up and protect nature, is what it is. These animals are innocent. These animals represent nature. And there's a defilement of nature. And there's a defilement of the innocence. So, yeah, defilement of, you could say, animals. But I, I guarantee this could be about humans, too. Okay? So, humans are animals, too. I don't see any humans with broken necks here. But I see all kinds of animals with broken necks here. Um, breaking that wall down actually released your anguish. Because you are holding onto a ridiculous quantity of anguish. No wonder this is going to be emotional. You, your heart is being eaten by the worms that you can't feel it because you're creating the safety net that is not fulfilling for you because you have these powerful emotions. And that is the sound of your soul that is screaming that uh, it's not necessarily the light, right? It's just the soul going through the human life that is expressing um, what you genuinely care about, okay? And so when we genuinely care about things, we can feel shattered and broken by the world that we live in that we can't control it. We just have to accept it or something. And so this is very sensitive for you. And the guide is standing here. And right now, I, I can't really tell who he is. It's just a magical, it's like a sparkling black um, dust kind of energy. But I, I see there's something of a silver sword that is full of light. But this, this, I don't know what the sword, like, I don't agree, I don't believe in weaponry in the energy world, but it's usually symbolic of something, like a protector, um, cutting cords, let's say, um, you know, that sort of thing. All I can see is that silvery sword is full of silvery light. And his appearance is uh, sort of shrouded in this sparkling kind of black mist, I guess. You're just not allowed to see his appearance because you have to want this, okay? But I see that you are breathing pretty heavily and you're crying and you have this massive hemorrhaging headache. And you're talking to yourself about what it is you truly want in life. And how you really genuinely want to experience life. Life from the heart or life from the head. Life in a place of comfort that is actually more uncomfortable than you're allowing yourself to feel. Or a life that is true and genuine with sound and self-expression, free, freedom of self-expression, support from, from the universe, you know, from everywhere in the universe, the earth, the stars everywhere in the universe, and even inside yourself, you know. I will say this major heart um, heart work done here. <sighs> and obviously third eye because we're, we're talking about o opening your eyes to um, interpretation on, a, on a, in another way. So you're going to consciously have time to reflect on all this. That it really impacts the way that you feel alive or avoiding um, being totally alive, okay? In ways that you might not be consciously aware of. So that's what I have for you. Thank you very much for this. You just never know what's going to happen here. <laughs> but I really enjoyed uh, doing this work and um, getting to know you more. Thank you so much again for sharing. And uh, for those of you watching, if you're interested in having me take a look at something, anything you want to know about, you want me to do some energy work for you, um, you can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day, everybody.